I heard you have a crush on that person. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, unicorn. I got you. I got you. Today, I'm going to be showing you psychological tips and tricks on how to get a person you like. Not 100% guaranteed to work. I think you should have a high chance of getting that person with these tips and tricks I'm going to be sharing with you. And I'll also be sharing things that make you less attractive or less funny morals to the person to people in general now we begin first impressions that's like first things first first impressions it is said that the first 30 seconds of any interaction is usually the icebreaker so you have to say something that is going to be you have to smell good you have to look good first impressions always matter if my first impression of a person is bad that memory will be in my mind forever unless you can do something that is very bad this boost that can change that perception about you another thing is that if people don't know you're single there's no how they want to shoot their shots you just maintain your class but then also kind of let people understand that you are open for relationships you've finally spoken to the person you're interested in probably you shoot your shots you would need to make time for that person you will need to talk to that person you need to have that vibe with that person if you don't vibe right from the start i don't think you should pursue that relationship or pursue that friendship or whatever again the person can be so attractive can be so glamorous looking but then when you finally speak to the person you're like this thing called the chameleon effect it's where you mirror another person's actions you know um people who have been dating for a while or who have been together for a while or even friends it's there's a very high tendency for them to start acting alike looking dressing alike looking alike talking alike it's part of the chameleon effect who you were exposed to more sort of becomes you you guys exchange characteristics if you can consciously make the effort and actively make the effort to mirror that person you start in their slangs you start um, probably they say oh I like a perfume that smells this way you now start wearing that perfume just the little little things you start changing yes I'm not saying that you should be another person and then there are some subtle things you can do subtle seduction is subtle it's not bad it's subtle excuse me to say you have to look at yourself before you approach a person this goes to both male and female you should know your level of attraction and look at the other person see there are times that i'll see a very fine uncle i'll just be like ah this man this man this fine man but then i know that he is way out of my league i'm not saying that oh, i cannot get a hands-on bubble because i'm a fine girl i mean my level of money has not reached some people's level of money i can't be looking for dangote's child i beg how much what do i have so far i basically don't really have that much so far except for this brain this wisdom but besides that i mean there are some things i cannot afford if he's if he's doing bed day now she i'll go and buy bands for him <laughs> which money he <laughs> got and it's not even a matter of girls like money girls everybody likes money everybody wants to be sports but <sighs> Safe. She, when it's time for birthday, you don't have any gift to give her. Imagine she's not the one buying you gift alone. Or you all the whole birthdays of your life. See, don't be afraid to be a human being. You can fool. Like, you can play. You can be playful. But that doesn't mean you go and be stupid. Mm. Calm down. You should, you should balance things in life. There are times that I know that when I'm outside, I try and comport myself to the fullest. But then sometimes you lose guard because you're human. You can only constrain yourself so much. Your playful side will still come out no matter what you want to do. Be yourself. If they don't like you for who you are, 
then you guys should just stop right there you can confide in the said person that doesn't mean you should immediately let out your deepest darkest secrets when you just say talking that's just awkward and weird you probably scare them off won't be too vulnerable some secrets are just better even left unsaid or said later later in the friendship or relationship when you guys are very very comfortable with each other don't go and jab out too early haptics and body language are very vital smile don't just smile sheep sheepishly don't just smile anyhow but smile like so subtly you know seductively not the Ryan kind of smiling don't they crack a joke laugh don't uh... <laughs> <laughs> why are you holding your laughter in did they offend you subtle touches here and there with consent be wise don't go and <laughs> stop <laughs> what's the problem maybe he cracks a joke just laugh oh my god you're so funny on the shoulder just it's small don't, don't get slapped the person i know right i'm not saying you walk. like that ain't my wife <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny oh. Oh. don't slap anybody <laughs> But your hair is so nice. Well, even that, some girls don't like it personally. Yeah, I don't have a problem with this. But some girls are like, don't touch my hair. Be open. Don't be so closed off. Probably are sitting at a table. That doesn't mean you now. Doing something adventurous together, something that is going to get your blood pumping, something that could increase your adrenaline rush, could increase the chemistry between the two of you so do something fun together go for some arcade games go to an amusement park <sighs> if possible make friends with your friends like be friendly with your friends that doesn't mean you should be always all up in their business oh my god fans in them don't do that you can be like ah hey what's up how are you just be friendly but don't do a familiarity calm down you can spoil your relationship please have a sense of humor it doesn't come easy to some people i agreed but if you are funny express it don't hide it because i know some people that are funny inside them but like when they are around the person they really like it's over your humor just pack leaves why be yourself why are you not why are you not unleashing the clown in you eventually if you guys start dating the next thing will be everything is a joke if you're a girl like you're funny express it because you know these guys are out here saying girls are not funny girls are not funny some of them are not funny so don't let them oppress you all these dry boys the more she laughs or the more he laughs the more he's closing his eyes even if you're not fine they close his eye fall in love with you they kick 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 the more they kick 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 the more they love you let me just add these bonus don't don't be cheesy guys don't drop cheesy lines please don't do that it may be funny but most times girls don't want to hear cheesy lines nobody has that time be straightforward with me girls really don't like it did it hurt when you fell from heaven guys actually like pickup lines like that guys actually like it but then with girls it's different be kind of mysterious leave some room for the next person to wonder that who is this guy who is this girl don't be clingy don't be all up in their business don't be mm, don't choke them with your presence don't choke them with calls don't choke them with texts people that like to act too cool for school stand office you see them you're on a date with someone and you have do you squeeze your face what's what's wrong with you contributes to the conversation why would you go on a date with the person and you're not talking to the person you're on your phone you don't deserve love why are you on your phone drop your phone and face the person you're there with period period guys use these tricks and tips wisely to improve your relationship with the person you're already with to shoot your shots just i hope you use it wisely unicorns and stay tuned to my channel for more laughs for more of everything anything random content 
your girl got you bye